turned out quite well. You crossed the line. I did no such thing. You took a private feud and you made it public. After you tried to undermine my authority. Because you don't know what you're doing. I knew what I was doing when I took them from you, like biscuits from a schoolboy. All right, you son of a bitch. You better get yourself ready, because I'm about to kick. I, I know it's generally against regulations, but her nanny fell ill and... No, 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 say no more. A father's love knows no rule. I didn't know you were a cat man. Do I have brains in my head? Do I have a heart in my chest? Who is this stunning creature? Her moniker is Mikado. So does that mean she enjoys... Yes. Whenever we travel, I make sure she has Gilbert and Sullivan playing in her Sherpa. Uh, do be careful. She doesn't normally like... My God. What? Oh, does she prefer the left side? No, she doesn't normally let anyone touch her except me. I happen to have a way with those of the feline persuasion. It's too much to ask. I'm sure there is a suitable luxury feline hotel. Don't play games, okay? You both know there isn't. So you'll do it? N yes, can I have her? Late night? No sleep at all. The ulcer? No, Nigel's cat. You slept at Nigel's? No, he's out of town. I'm cat sitting. <gasps> Mikado won't drink her cream unless it's precisely 5.5 degrees Celsius. She turned her nose up at Bruno's origami collection. And she won't use her litter box unless it's facing London. Hate that damn thing. You're loving every second with her, aren't you? All 86,400 of them. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Norma, I told you a million goddamn times. 2% of Mikado's afternoon milk. She's gonna taste the extra skim, and who do you think she's gonna take it out on? Me. Oh, and find out what the holdup is on my trademark claim on Lit Up. Nigel, you're back a week early. I was going to holiday an extra week, but I was rejuvenated after only two days in the native clays at Guangzhou. You're glowing. And I can't wait to see Mikado. The lovely lass is here, I see. No, she's not here. Then who's that for? That's for me. It's my afternoon milk. It's a spot. Gotta run. Lewis? Where is she? At the best cat spa in the city. Getting her nails buffed and her paws polished. You spoil her. She spoils me. Call me when she's back. I will. Rachel, Lewis, Code Red. Norma gave me a look. She's on her side. Rachel, concentrate. I don't even know if I'm on your side. This isn't right. She wants to be my cat. No, you want her to be your cat. You don't understand. This past week has been the best week of my life ever since... Bruno, I understand. But you can't keep Mikado. She's Nigel's cat. Well said. Ah, Nigel. How did you... By doing what any self-respecting cat owner would do. Equipping her with an RFID. A radio frequency identifier integrated circuit. Why would you hide my prized possession? Is that what she is to you? A possession? What she is to me, is between me and her. You're right. He's right. I'm sorry. I'm not ready. Lewis! He was supposed to be gone for two weeks. We had a verbal contract. I would have custody for two weeks. It was a babysitting arrangement. One that I was mentally, emotionally, and physically prepared for. And accordingly, I am legally entitled to Mikado for one more week. That is not the law. There's actually precedent. Warmanski v. Mitchell, 1974. I have a meeting. After which I will collect what is rightfully mine. That was a stall. Because the truth is, Nigel's right. She's not your cat. You've got to let her go. 
Mary Poppins doesn't get custody of the children in her care. The Von Trapp children fell in love with Maria. She became their mother. Because their mother was dead. There's no legal basis for this. You're confident in that fact? Most assuredly. Then let's put it to our own jury. You're suggesting a mock trial? You get to prove you're the better man in front of our associates. You agree to hand her back the moment the verdict is in? I agree to let you say goodbye to her the moment that you're defeated. <laughs> Fa Teng Gim. Whatever the hell that means. I'll not only lose custody, I may end up in jail. For what? Rachel, I stole the man's cat, and I need someone who understands why. Then who, Lewis? You. I'm not a lawyer, Lewis. You're gonna be soon enough. You run circles around those clowns, and Nigel holds no sway over you. Okay. You are asking me to help you steal Nigel's cat. Rachel, you know how tough it's been for me this year. I lost the associates. Mike made a fool of me. I saw Harvey's name go up on the wall, and I went home. Do you know what happened? Mikado saw my pain, and she brought me a mouse. Louis, we have a murder trial going on. A trial that I have nothing to do with. Rachel, I love her. Now I once fought valiantly for your dream, and even though I lost, I'm asking you. Fight for mine. Without speaking for Mikado, would you describe for the court her emotional condition? When Mikado first entered my home, she was aloof and standoffish. She's a cat. Sorry, I'll wait my turn. She was listless, you know? Like, I would take her out to see a bird or a dog, and there'd just be nothing. You know what I think? Mm. I think that she was the victim of neglect due to the absence of a consistent father figure because he's traveling all the time. I object. To what? To you letting him talk about my cat that way. You changed the rules to get Miss Zane. I'm changing the rules. I'm going to represent myself. <laughs> You're I... dismissed. You have portrayed yourself as the kind-hearted savior of this feline soul. Is that correct? Yeah. I believe I brought up the best in her. So you have a way with your charges, a velvet glove, so to speak. I guess you could say I'm built that way. So you're a good parent, uh, a role model. No one could say otherwise. So if one of your charges were to say you were hostile, cruel, prone to kicking the proverbial dog, would that be a lie? My treatment of felines is what's of issue here. I thought it was your parenting skills, your uh, ability to mold and shape gently. Uh, but that's not what This I'm... jury knows all about your parenting skills, which involve berating, belittling, screaming, sadism. Objection! Objection! You can object all you like, but as I said, this jury knows that that man is not what he portrays himself to be. And what about you? You think molding and shaping is accomplished by abandoning your charges and sending the occasional memo while you're off mudding in the Yang Sea? I'd like to call my next witness. Oh, really? What witness? You didn't declare a witness. He's a hostile witness. And I'm afraid he's hostile to you. I call Harold Gunderson to the stand. Holy shit, we're in trouble. We need a 10-minute recess. I don't, no, no, Rachel, I'm sorry, but I can't talk right now. I am typing up Cameron's files from memory. Mike, I am going to lose my first case. Uh -huh. A mock case. Okay. About a cat. Okay, that I have a couple of minutes for. Nigel Duck apparelled. What? He's going to throw Lewis under the bus. Which is why I need your help. I need you to remember anything good he said about Lewis. I can't. What are you talking about? You were just referring to your amazing memory. No, it's not that I can't remember it. It's that he never said anything good. Oh my God. 